In level five, we learn that melodies divide into phrases, which are often marked with slurs. Phrases that end on unstable scale degrees two or seven sound unfinished, where those that end on stable scale degrees one or three sound finished. A parallel period uses similar phrases. The beginning bars of the two phrases are the same, but they end differently, with the first finishing on an unstable scale degree and the second on a stable tone. Here's how we compose a parallel period using a given melodic opening. The first step is to go to beat one of bar four to write the ending note of the first phrase. Use scale degree two or seven, which are both notes of the dominant chord, so that the phrase ends on an unstable scale degree. I'm choosing to use scale degree seven, which is A. Next, write the last note of bar three with a note of the tonic chord that will step to it. The notes of the tonic chord are B-flat, D, and F. And so I'm going to use B-flat, which is a step above A. Then we need to add notes that work with the tonic chord to fill in the remaining beats of bar three. Remember that melody notes generally move by steps or skips, but they can move by leap if the notes create a broken chord. It's also good to use rhythms from the opening measures for a unified melody. I'm gonna use the same rhythm as the opening bar with the notes of the tonic chord. We begin the second phrase by repeating the first two bars of the first phrase. Remember that the beginning bars of a parallel period are the same. Then we go to the end and write the tonic as the last note so that our melody sounds finished. So for my final note, I'll write B flat. And of course, the implied chord will be the tonic. A good chord for bar seven would be the dominant as it implies an authentic cadence and a strong ending. Now, just as we did in phrase one, write the second last note of bar seven as a note of the dominant triad that steps to it. The dominant chord is F A C, and so I could use A or C, but I think I'll step up this time and so I'll choose A. And for the final step, we need to fill in the remaining beats of bar seven with notes that work with the dominant chord. Here's how I'll do it. Now all that's left is to add the slurs. Okay, we're done. Let's hear how it sounds.